Good morning, developers. My name is Rob, and if you are a developer in the JavaScript or Python space, or you are totally new, you don't know anything about programming, but somebody told you you should check it out, or you are somewhere in the middle, I would love to be a part of your learning journey. What is the purpose of this channel, and what does the name mean? Well, to answer those two questions, let me give you a little bit of my background. I graduated with a computer science degree in 2001, and like a lot of people, I quickly found out when I got on the job, my program did very little to prepare me for what I actually did on a day-to-day -day basis. I was over here, and I needed to get over there, and there was this massive gap. Now, I don't mean that my program or my degree wasn't useful. It was, but it was entirely theoretical, and I needed to learn how to do my job very fast. If I can use an analogy from electricity, I think computer science programs are kind of like creating physicists, and what the world actually needs is electricians. What do I mean? Well, physicists understand the theory behind electricity, how electrons, neutrons, and protons work, but if you want electricity in your house or in a building, you need an electrician, not a physicist. And that was my experience. I showed up and I knew the theory, but I couldn't actually go. So I had to learn a lot really fast to close that gap because I told my boss I knew how to code and it turned out I didn't really. And there were so few resources. Things have gotten better, but finding something that was credible, that was thorough, that wasn't so boring, was was so hard. And so I would grind and work and troubleshoot and work. And then I, I fell in love with those magic moments where all of a sudden the light went on and it, it worked and it was the most wonderful feeling. And as I got older and more experienced, I started being able to have these moments with other people, teaching them how things worked and seeing that light bulb go on. And I loved it so much that I went into teaching. I In 2015, I started at the, the very first day with a coding boot camp, built the career curriculum from scratch and taught hundreds of people at an in-person boot camp. Some amazing stories of the light bulb going on, of people who knew nothing about code and now have been developers for several years. It was such an awesome experience. But I was absolutely determined that this was not going to happen, that at the end of the program they were going to be ready. <laughs> Except I found that it kind of still didn't work. And there's a little bit of a different reason of as when I graduated. When I graduated, you needed to know this or this. You needed to know C or C++, and that was pretty much it. Now, no matter how much you know when you finish your program, there is so much more you need on the day-to-day -day job. It isn't just JavaScript or just React or just Java or just Python or just machine learning. All of these things can be subdivided down into a dozen other items. And so we end up in exactly that same place where you, you know some stuff, but you need to get over here. That is the purpose of this channel. I want to help you fill in that gap. Whether, you, again, you're a developer already and you need to know how this library works. You're using Python and WebSockets together and Flask isn't doing the trick. Let's do some fast API. You just finished the core of Python and you don't know what to do next. Let's do some Project Euler. You are a JavaScript or React developer and you want to add WebRTC to your app. Let's do some WebRTC. Whatever it is, I've got a bunch of playlists, one for brand new programmers to learn Python, and everything else will assume that you already know how to program, but they are all about filling in that gap. Lastly, what does the name mean? Well, when I was teaching in person, it's so common for new people, even into experience, to feel like they don't know what they're doing. There's always people who are better that they are posers. That imposter syndrome is kind of always there. So when I showed up, the very first thing I said in the morning as I walked in the room to everybody was good morning developers, believing that if I said it enough, eventually they would start to believe they were developers. Likewise, if you're already a programmer and you don't you don't struggle with that, the morning is always one of my favorite times. I've got my coffee and I've got a whole day of learning and, and implementing that I can look forward to. So wherever you are at on your journey, good morning developers, let's go learn some programming.